do we see that there's anything we can do to actually reverse to help kind of grow new, new neurons in the brain? Yeah, this is the incredible thing. There's evidence that has come out just in the past couple of years that we've seen people actually reversing signs of brain aging and early dementia. So um, a friend of mine ran a study out of uh, University of Washington um, looking at uh, people that were on exercise versus not and brain MRI longitudinally. And they showed with just 25 extra minutes of exercise a week, people were able to increase their brain volume on MRI. So they're literally growing back their brain. So if you get a neuro age test and you see some of your brain volume is low average or, you know, less than where you would want it to be, you know, even just getting an extra 25 minutes of exercise, you may be able to get retested and show that you've moved that needle and increased the volume. So that's one thing. Um, there's also, uh, now there's um, randomized control studies that are about to be published, but um, there's an anecdote from a gentleman in Florida who um, was really high risk for Alzheimer's. So he had two Apoly 4 alleles. And even in his 50s, he was already testing positive for those toxic proteins that build up in the brain, amyloid and tau. And um, he underwent dramatic lifestyle improvements, um, really went at it with exercise and diet and lost a bunch of weight and did all the things you're supposed to do and got retested and showed that he was no longer testing positive for those toxic proteins, which is really remarkable. Um, so actually reversing those signs. And we're now seeing that um, uh, there was some conference papers of neurologists showing on a larger scale that this was true for people, um, that they were able to do this um, reverse amyloid and tau. It's the same way you can lower your cholesterol, right, with, uh, with lifestyle intervention. <laughs>